Dion Leonard is a long distance runner. He was running in a six day long distance race. Then a small dog started running with him through two marathon distance days. He names him Gobi because they're running through the Gobi Desert. Now he needs to get out of China with some steps. Some to leave China, some to leave the UK. This forces Leonard to have to leave Gobi for at least 30 days in the care of the support staff in the long distance. Leonard starts a fundraiser to help fund getting Gobi to the UK, but in the meantime, Gobi Bunt goes missing through either normal doggy escape tactics or more nefarious reasons. This forces Leonard to go back to China to help find Gobi. Now comes the waiting to get an excess visa and the paperwork to enter the UK. Leonard is thinking that everybody is trying to kidnap Gobi, so he, comes, he becomes very protective and stays with Gobi almost constantly and is suspicious of anything strange that happens. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, I'm doing good with these push ups. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. Hey, check out that dog. He's here for the race. That right, girl? Are you here to run with us? I think the dog is very adorable. The dog didn't know what to make of all this. There were a lot of people, more than she would have expected, out here away from town and right on the edge of the desert. Most of them were dressed funny, but they were nice. Many of the runners stopped to pet her, and more than a few gave her scraps of food. She was hungry. She was always hungry. She couldn't remember a time when she hadn't been hungry. Focus. I can do this. Just gotta get ready for this race. Gotta go fast. I know I can do this. And even his shoes were all bright yellow. He knew he probably lit up like a neon light. He reached down and patted the dog, but he didn't have time to give her too much attention. Today's portion of the race was about to start, and he needed to be ready. This multi-stage ultra race will stretch in six stages over seven days and cover almost 155 miles. Dion had never been to China before, but he had done other multi-stage races like this. He used to be good at them. Then, he hurt his leg. It had been a while since he entered a race, and he was worried. This was his last chance, he figured. And if he didn't do well in, his, in this race, he might as well just quit completely. He didn't want to quit, though. He wanted to complete. Well, not necessarily coming first. He wasn't expecting that, but it may get to the top handful. At least, even placing fourth would be enough to show that he could still do this. Yesterday had been the first day, and he had come in third, so that was an excellent start. But to stay in that top handful, he needed to concentrate. And that meant not spending any more time with somebody's dog, no matter how cute she was. People seemed to like her, and when she danced around them, they fed her. So she danced and got fed, and everyone was happy. But then she, she saw her. He wasn't feeding her. He wasn't, wasn't laughing or shouting. He wasn't even standing with most of the other people. He was off to the side, shifting back and forth on his feet. He was tall and skinny, and tall and bright yellow. He looked funny, but he wasn't smiling. The dog didn't know what to make of this tall man, but she decided that she wanted to find out. Well, hello there. Where did you come from? Oh, oh. they're dog. Wow. Yeah. I'm about to meet a big race. Five miles. Yeah, I've quit before. I'm sure I can still do this. Thanks. Attention, everyone. Take your positions. The race is about to start. Keep up.